All right, audio check. Hey, check, check, it works. What up? Hey, I saw a couple people in here already. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I was going to have the camera up, but I don't know where the freaking camera is. I was looking for it for the last 30 minutes, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I got to I gotta play this before uh, before I, I you know, am not me anymore, and I'm starting to feel that way, like that kind of tired where I could be switching. So I'm like, I need to play this game. I've been thinking about it all day thinking about since last night actually um and uh and i want to get at least one chapter in tonight so uh so that's my goal if we can at least finish the first chapter and uh if the first chapter only takes an hour to beat then maybe we'll squeeze the second one in but you know we'll see what the how the game does it but i'm probably going to explore a lot (laughs) so just to give you the heads up i love this first game i loved american nightmare I love this universe. I have the book, the novel, the special edition of the first game. I have a signed Maglite from Sam Lake. Um, my, my favorite number, 11. He made 40 of those Maglites, and I was lucky enough to win one. Um, I've played Control, Quantum Break. Like, I am, and Max Payne, I'm such a fan of this Remedy universe, and I am so ready for this game. So uh, it is has photosensitive warnings and all that, so... I'm like, good. Uh, Good thing I don't have the camera on, so now I can sit further back from the TV in case there is flashing lights and stuff. I can, you know, won't stress me out. So we're going to ignore the camera on this one. But I wanted to stream this here on Twitch because yesterday we had someone get gifted subs from an anonymous donor, and that meant a lot to me. So I didn't want to go over on YouTube and not play any new games on this channel. Um so, uh, so yeah, so here I am to play it here because uh, I wanted that person to get their money's worth and I wanted that gifted member to get their, you know, value with that membership. So, so here we are and let's get started. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. story there are only victims and monsters and the trick is not to end up as either but trapped by the genre we are all ripped to pieces along the way this is not the story i hoped it would be this is not the ending i wanted this story will eat us alive this story is a monster and monsters wear many faces. Holy crap. <laughs> Nudity warning. Uh, who is this? Is this... Oh, we don't... They're not going to show his face. I'm kind of glad we can't scroll around to see the front half of him, actually. <laughs> uh, wow, this is... Crawling out of Cauldron Lake, I think. Is this Nightingale? Who is this? Uh, I'm, if you don't know the lore of Alan Wake, I'm probably going to hit you with a bunch all at once. But uh, I'll try to make sense of it as I play, and I'm sure the game will do do that as well. So, um, but is this maybe it's not Nightingale, but maybe it is someone who has been turned by uh, by the darkness. Already gone. Wait, we're right here. We're right here. This is so creepy. 
Whoa. That was a deer, right? Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay. Okay, I gotta, I gotta look away from the screen. Holy crap. God, that was intense. Who's laughing? Are we like... Maybe we're another character created by Alan to try to help him get out? Wait, what? You can sprint by... T oh, hey, okay. You can actually move a little bit. Oh, hey. Oh, the light would burn us, right? Whoa. What? Whoa! Wait, what is he? He's killing us. What the what? Uh, I can't look at the screen while this is happening. That sucks. Cult of the what? The tree? took our heart? I'm like, I have my phone where the chat is, so I'm trying to watch some of this from the phone because it's not as intense, obviously. It's much smaller. But I can't see everything. Wow. So what, they, they cut his heart out, but they... He said there's something missing, or he needs more? The cult of the tree. What the hell has happened in this place in the last 13 years? Goodness, what an opening. Victims and monsters, right? The goal is not to be either, and we were just the victim. Oh boy. Alright, Remedy. I'm scared. take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Dude, there he is. Alex frickin' Logan, Casey. Try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. That's so cool. I think it's the face of Sam Lake, but the voice is obviously the Max Payne actor, I believe, who I'm blanking his name. I'm sorry. Um, but Alex Casey, I think, was originally going to be Max Payne. But since Remedy doesn't have the rights or own the rights to Max Payne, they created Alex Casey as like their, as a version of uh, Max Payne. And that's their way of trying to connect all their universes together. And we're going to see characters in this game, I think, from every Remedy game. I think there's like a couple characters from Control in here. I believe a character or two from Quantum Break is in here. So, uh... So, yeah, this is, uh... Really creepy. I mean, but really connected. Like, So there's a lot of lore that we're probably going to play through on this. And this is Saga, I think is her name. And she appeared in one of the short films uh, for 
Quantum There's Break, I think, bar. or Control. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear. And I'll she's with Alex Casey. Alex Casey, oh, Return Part 1, Invitation. Oh, cool. Because that was the name of the book Alan Wake was writing at the end, which was of the first game, which is called Return. Before we get swallowed up by the trees. Huh. I think I hear someone. Could yeah. be our deputy. I can go take a look. In the map. All right. Cool. Um, so, the, yeah, so whereas Max Payne was a detective, obviously, Alex Casey is an FBI agent. So there's some differences, obviously. Hey there. Agent Hi. Casey, right? Sheriff yep. Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Yeah. Anderson. Saga Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you oh, already know my partner, gotcha. Alex Casey. Chief. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh... <laughs> Federal agents he's like, I just figured that Alex Casey, since he's kind of known in this world a little bit. Scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, I could use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be but you know, <laughs> inside. Just say the heart's cut out, dude. Wow. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I'm into the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. <laughs> but don't worry. Mulligan Sheriff and Thornton. I already like them. Down a while ago. They're very quirky, which is, you know, pretty standard for this. Uh, for this universe. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Wow. They got it, Thornton. <laughs> Yeah, I hope the because uh, there's also is it the Anderson brothers also? Um, they are um, they were in a band called the Old the Gods of Asgard, and you're going to hear their music in this game. Make sure I'm seeing the clues. Uh, and their songs are portrayed, and they are portrayed by uh, Poets of the Fall, a great band from the first game and um, other amazing stuff they've done. You can access the case board inside the Mind Place. What the, the mind what? Place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Oh. Building the mind place again for each case. Cool. Using each field office as a model in my head. So at any time we could... The facts are on the board. We could go to this world in her mind? Wow. Is this what visual memory is like? Everything we know about the previous murders. Can you construct things this detailed? Worth taking another look. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze the clues and progress in the investigation. Okay. Oh, and you can use Zoom. Oh. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. I see you're already hard at work. And I saw a map over there, but I don't need to look at the map. It. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime Look scene. at this. We're back, man. Cauldron Lake. Fucking nature. It gives me a <laughs> headache. There's too much sky. All right, so we can jog just by pressing. Whoa, can we go up here? We can. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. 
Okay. I need bolt cutters. Uh, okay. All right, we'll come back then. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. Interesting. Have cases that have the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. <laughs> You know, I'm wondering, maybe it's because Alan has already tried to have Alex Casey help. And Alex Casey, he couldn't write the story. Because so we got to remember, while this is going on, Alan Wake is trapped in the dark place. He still is 13 years later. And what he's trying to do is write an ending on how to get him out. He tried to make himself the hero before in American Nightmares and stuff. But all he ended up doing was creating Mr. Scratch and making things a lot worse. So now he's probably trying to write other people in that he knows about or creates to come into the story to help him get out. Uh, and so that's probably the reason all of these characters are here. Um, so she might be here now because they already did a scenario where Alex Casey tried to get us out and that didn't end well. So now it's, this is the rewrite. You know, and that's where Saga comes in, possibly. So he created a character like Saga who... It you know surprises everyone at the bureau by being awesome at her job, or maybe she's actually a free-thinking, independent, like found her way into this because of Casey, and she's a wild card, and that could be something to think about too. Um, so chaos at Cauldron Lake. Uh, the incident left three people injured, one of which was admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls Police have yet to make an official statement. Oh, hang on. Oh, I didn't mean to back out like that. Missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place this weekend when Mrs. Amanda Smith was reunited with her, her beloved dog, Coffee Bean. CB, as his owner refers to him, had been missing for three days, and Miss Smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again. Aww. That's cool. Does a hike a day keep depression away? And Bright Falls own virtual baking champ. Little Sally Upton. All right. Congrats, Sally. Cool. All right. So I don't know why there's just like a weird... <laughs> area here that's oh, that's a rental cabins back there where there's just newspaper just hanging out but hey whatever is that a kids lunchbox an whoa. Alex Casey movie lunchbox whoa Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective he hates those cheesy crime books oh he really hates the movies so he's not that Alex Casey. No, he's got to be, though. But it's, oh, like in a meta way, they have to make it make sense in the story that he exists in a world as the same Alex Casey. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to, I'll wait to the, the game will have to explain that one to me because my brain is already melting. <laughs> my dad used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Not sure what the tough gets going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. Manuscript fragments, too. Okay. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. Whoa. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Okay, so we only have two fragments so far. Again, again, hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. Increase the magazine size by 50%. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm glad I went back and uh, and and looked because I was like, oh, this, it's a dead end on the map. So I thought this had stairs to it. And I was like, which way should I go? But I'm glad we came around that corner. Which is Ladle Cauldron Lake. Huh. Oh. Hello. 
Which is Lado. There she is. Is it is Barbara, right? Minerva or something like that? No, not Barbara Minerva, but um there's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet there are many mystery stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or a witch whose cauldron the the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Well, someone believes in that legend, the cult of the tree. So that means they worship the ladle, huh? The ladle. Look at this tree, dude. No, this is going to open up later, I bet. We're going to have to come back here. Is this where Casey came? Yeah, this game is going to take me... Uh, I, I guess I did get lost. This game is going to take me a long time to beat if I just keep dilly-dallying, but... I can't help it. I want to walk around for a minute. I'm so excited. Deputy Thornton, I take it. Oh. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, boy. So, oh, he was over here. How'd I miss this? This guy's not so chatty now. He doesn't like that. I just, like, walked away from him in mid-conversation. Oh, my goodness. The altar where he was... Now, this is the scene of the crime. Holy Found crap. The table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. Dude. No you owe me a coffee. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. <laughs> no Does this tarp. Fit the MO of the previous. Yeah, members? they they kept him naked. Like, that's that's not. Good. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Yeah, you unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board, inside the mind place. Okay. Allow Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected, and placed on the case board. Yeah. Another body turns there we up go. just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Oh, cool. Consistent with other murders. It'll prompt a new question. Another body was found in the wood near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings we're here to investigate. Consistent with previous chest, murders. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. So this is probably good for Alan to have a FBI agent that's aft like trying to you know solve these murders and stuff that lives in her head to solve stuff. That's kind of good because Alan, as a writer, lives in his head when he creates his stuff. So. Um, you can check the updated goals by pressing. Here we go. So goals three. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Okay. Um, let me look at the cases. Uh, 
Um, here, here we go. That's how you do it. I kind of need to hear this. Thanks, Lunchbox Writer. So we go back to this envelope, select a photo, yes. and then it puts it in its place. Copy that. The note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake? What the hell are these? Um, okay. Any idea who the victim is? No, oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He's <gasps> came to town about what? 15 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. It is Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? You're kidding me. Yes. Wasn't it the first thing I said? I was like, oh, are we playing as Nightingale? Oh, and sisters. What? So we weren't... Yeah, that makes sense, because when we saw those three original victims, one said it was he was killed two weeks ago. This is the freshest murder, but... Nightingale, and there's what? How is it Nightingale? No one's heard from the guy in thirteen years. Why surface now? Where has he been? Yeah, and he came out of the lake naked. Which that was kind of in the um, the Bright Falls, like a mini series too, where where people would come out when they were taken. Um, what? Okay. Maybe Casey knows something about Nightingale. Yeah. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. That's right. That's his backstory. Huh? That. What happened after the, yeah, he got fired? No, he's been missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. What Makes the heck? What was going on that year? Probably uh, deer fest. Town wants to forget. <laughs> Clearly. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Yeah, he was after he Alan, and he was reading the pages from the book that, that Alan was writing. But no happy ending. Holy cow, man. All right, so I guess we can probably add that to the files. Robert yep. Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Jeez. Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Yeah, no kidding. Why, here? Why now? That's so weird. Because obviously I couldn't recognize it was Nightingale, but I just thought, like, I was like, oh, that's a character I know, Her and I don't know what happened to him. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. What? Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. What? What is she about to do that's not realistic? Profiling. Oh, okay. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 Whoa. years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. What? You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came Alan? from the lake before his murder. Okay. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. 
Lights are off. The switch. It's somebody's home. How is she getting this? Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for How does she know this? Or is this like a product of Alan giving her the knowledge? If only the rest there he of the is. Knew what a song it is Casey. Is. Casey. <laughs> Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. All right, what are my goals? Check the lakeshore investig. Okay, yeah. So now that we've figured out he might have been in the lake first, we go back the and check the lake. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Down by the riverside. Down right. by okay. the rivers. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Uh, this thanks. Dangerous place. Yeah, you this said that before. Punches, Anderson. Yes, it is. I think Nightingale came Possibly. out from that direction, from the lake. Probably yeah, let's go figure it out. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. <laughs> Nightingale um. was out in the woods alone at night, possibly noon. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged yeah. him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. Where is Casey? Did he come with us this way? Anderson. Yeah, I guess I did. I was looking no for you. Trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You yeah. need to get out more. It is kind of creepy though. Wait, we got a clue here. What's that? Tracks. Barefoot. Yep. Nightingales? Maybe. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. There's a piece yeah. of paper on the ground. Was this here before? I feel like we walked over here. Huh. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Oh, listen to that music. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Oh, that's creepy. It sounds cool. It sounds like the Predator theme song at first when it was like... Those little notes that was playing. It's for us. What? The text is about us. What? The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nighting. We found an Alan Wake page. And was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. No way. Reading, Reading the words. The words. Alan. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Wow. Oh, I got goosebumps. This is so good. <laughs> Someone isn't watching you. Someone already wrote this. And you're living it. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. No, it's not the killers. I should profile Nightingale about this page. All right, let's do it. What was that? Uh, we found the page. page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. 
the awful truth. He must dig it out. Something oh, boy. was put inside him. What? In his chest. Where the heart was? I must find out what. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> we gotta go stick our hand in a dead body. Oh boy. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Yeah. Here we go. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Oh boy. Wow. Casey, Quite the agent I think we are. Something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. <laughs> the text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses huh. to their design? All the above? She sounds like an FBI agent, like I gotta say. What happens to who. Don't let it drag like he sounds like a grizzled old, you know, guy, really but but she's like full into it, man. She's she's a full on investigator, that's for sure. She's like everything is riddles to her and stuff, so Well cool. I'm glad we're not going to just stick our hand in the body here. That would make no sense. Like, you would want to, like she said, transport the body somewhere where they can, you know, sterilize, put gloves on. Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got hey. bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. What? Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Oh, thanks. Sheriff Breaker's still here. 13 years later, she's still looking for Alan? Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses. The bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Can't all fit right. the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Well, it's still... Si we're, we just started the case, end. so don't beat yourself up. Tripod? For a camera? To yeah, that's right. Snuff film? Maybe. Oh boy. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. All right. So Mulligan, Thornton, thank you. What? Shut up, Thornton. Oh boy. <laughs> Dude, he's so two-faced. He was so nice to us when we were down there. Um, all right, let's get out of here. One piece, Anderson. Yeah, you know. Dangerous place. I know. You're on repeat there, Casey. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but... I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Whoa, look at this place. Dude, it hasn't changed hardly at all in 13 years. Except this. What's this? This is new. I'm sure they had to rebuild some of this with the 
tornado and stuff. But then again, Alan changed it, right, to where that week almost never happened. On the some level. Just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Yeah, dude, they got great coffee. It's like Twin Peaks. Let's go mingle with the locals for a second. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Oh, we got a. Just tuning in. You're listening to the Pat Main Radio. Pat Main is still around. Dude. That's cool. And there's someone fishing listening to him. That's great. That's a great little nod there. But, oh, Pat. I mean, it's 13 years later. I just assume some of these characters might not still be around. But uh, wouldn't that be something if uh, we run into more? Like, I, I'm happy. Like, <laughs> these guys, I played that first game so many times that I feel like, you know, just hearing Pat's name was and his voice was like made me smile. I need something to cut this. So we also need bolt cutters for this too. Okay. So look at this. There's there's things to explore. I'm glad we can just walk around Bright Falls like this. But where did this cabin come from? That wasn't here before. Hi there. Hi. What's down this street? Isn't the police station down here? Any interesting guests lately? Any good finds? Zilch. Elderwood surprise under their bed. Palace Lodge. I think I saw something. That wasn't. It'll only take a minute. That wasn't here before, was it? Huh. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Mercetta. Uh. Okay, set her for mayor, huh? Yeah, there's the police station. Welcome to Bright Falls. Dude. It's nice to have you here. Look I at this place. Time. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Yeah, thanks. Wait. What? Sheriff Breaker. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. Um, you know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex. I'm confused. Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Tim Breaker. Frankly, we could use the help. Okay. Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. So I who's have to say. Tim Breaker? Like, Casey I thought it was notes with the sheriff. Sarah Take Breaker. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Whoa. The signs the known victims go missing? Sure. Oh, I half expected the cardboard cutout of Alan to be there. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. Okay. It looks similar, but it's not like the, it's some modern things like the menu up there. Is Rose here? Does she still work here? Oh, hey, look. The jukebox is out of order. Oh, come on. The poor old thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over. I'm a big fan of Coconut as the next person, but come on. Uh, come on, man. That was cool. I was hoping to play that, but I like that they referenced it. Whoa. You can actually see the kitchen. Corpse is a part of the job. Can't dwell on it too much. Excuse me. Are you the bookers? I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. What did you see? Screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Um, can you tell me what you saw? Yeah, I don't care why they were there. I just want to know what they saw. So, what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must Whoa. have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. 
Whoa. We so there's more. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. Like some kind of satanic cult. Wait, that's what we heard at the end. Wasn't it? I don't know. I don't remember what happened in that opening scene. Yeah, why do you why think it was, you a cult? it was a cult? You know, they cut his heart out. The knives aren't enough. That's true. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Jeez. Oh. And then we found out. Ed, just the tell her. Was terrifying. That's just all. tell her. What'd you find? Before I ask the next question. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders Whoa. keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cult. How does she know it's a necklace? Dude, what's going on? We're at Cauldron Lake. Why? Prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. They were looking for Alan. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. Huh. They were telling the truth. She's got bolt cutters, though. We could use those. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. <laughs> How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Okay. Phew. That's Thanks. cool. This could prove to be helpful. Do <gasps> me a favor. Stick around town for now in case. No way. Like, Rose. Oh God. Saga. Saga Anderson. She knows who we are. I Look at her. She's. I'll never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. What? How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. Her baby you girl. Know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. What? That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens what is happening? All the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. What? If you say so. Rose. And she's like chipper ish. And she knows us? Yeah. What the hell? I was all excited to see her again, and ah, that freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> Do I have a flashlight? Oh, this, where, what is this? <gasps> Whoa. I feel bad for these guys. What is happening with her every time she sees one of those? Unless time keeps changing, but how is Rose? So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. What? Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Oh, goody. So it'll be hard to 
to figure out who's a cultist and who isn't. Um, a cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies. They didn't listen. And they what? wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. <laughs> this is my case now. And no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Cool. Got it. Thank you, Saga. You got it. I guess I might as well what ask just to... What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Wow. Perfectly legal. She's an Alan Wake fan. That's cool. Okay. I like the bookers. Even though they were trying to hide a few things, that's okay. So they're just, they're young and scared. We're all good, Ed. We can ease up now. Okay. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Yeah, let's do it. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing Look at this place. The cult of My the God, it feels so good and not good to be back here. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legends. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not going to find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? <laughs> we some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Oh, great. But where's morning, Sarah? Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More <laughs> the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Who else to keep this city clean if not us? But uh, the bookstore is up one of those streets. I think behind us. In the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Okay. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need? Wow. Let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Look at this place. I'll be right with Where's you. the lady who answers the phone? Is she still here? Just here to pay my ticket. Whoa, look at this room. They, they locked up an innocent man. Let's change this around a bit. Who's this? Wait, who's that? They're a lying bunch of bastards. You believe me, right? Uh, dude, I don't know who you are. Oh, adventure. To I am a tourist, <gasps> and it what? appears that I'm lost in the woods. It only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. <laughs> oh, no. A bear. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, That's great. Whoa, who's this guy? It's somebody called for a tour guide. Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tour. Oh, the Koskala oh, Brothers. Tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. <laughs> I'm the only Koskala voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you a tour of a lifetime. But oh, funny. I've heard the government has seized. I like in the first game they had uh, anything that was on the TV was real people, real actors, and they did something to them to like you know make them look kind of video gamey, but they used real actors. So I like that they're continuing that in this. <laughs> what? Hey, we do. We need those. <laughs> what the what? Um, and also shout out to Remedy because I saw a couple of the employees posting that since a lot of the music was made specifically for this game, like in the first game they used songs, right? Um, like from Poe and uh, and other uh, bands, Poets of the Fall, obviously, but they were playing music as Old Gods of Asgard or Old Gods of Asgard. Um, so. Uh, so in this one, I heard that they brought some of those artists like Poe and stuff back and Poets of the Fall, but to create unique music just for the game uh, for the end of each chapters. And um, and they were saying that they did everything they could to 
make it to where anyone who streams this game doesn't get a copyright claim over the songs. So the which, you know, I, I, I know it's not a perfect system. That you know, there, so, Some of us might still get uh, pinged for that. But uh, but that's wait a minute what to perform examination. stairs this wasn't here before or we didn't go in this door before and that could be the case um, but they did they they said we did everything we could to make sure you won't get uh, dinged for using our music and I'm like that's really cool uh, that's to even try is really cool of them. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. All right. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What is that pan on the floor doing? Just pan of blood, huh? What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? This looks like text. A tattoo? Yeah, because they were tattooing on him. Is a tattoo guy. Yeah, but they were doing it. They said illegally, some kind of uh, legal technique to put tattoos on your body. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. He was wait. So he was dead when he came out of the lake, because okay, so if he if it's showing post mortem, yeah, that means There's he was dead when he came there. out of the lake. Can't make it out. Writing. On the heart? Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. What? Oh boy, here we go. Crap. Cauldron Lake murders. Oh, hold on. We could do. Yep. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Yeah. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. Okay, so this that little much case is solved. That portion of it, I'll at least. Start a new file. Yep. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. Is it? You don't look excited. I wouldn't be excited. I thought she had already... I was like, well, she hadn't got her tools out, and she should be wearing gloves. What is it? Ugh! What is it? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. No. Nightingale Haunted Saga. What? Seer. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. No way. He's gonna get back up. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, no on. way, look! We found these kinds of pages. Tim Breaker is case. from Quantum Break! I didn't recognize him. That's... You're kidding me. So Sarah Breaker's gone and Tim is now in this universe? Wait, what? <gasps> what the hell? Ah! The cl... Oh. No, 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 no! No, no! Jesus! Jesus! What the hell, man? Didn't see her. See into bright light. She. Oh. Sit 
to get into the light. Oh my god. He can't see me in the light. Dude. Where's Casey? Where where are the others? Safe Haven restores some of your health if you leave or attack from a safe haven. While in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Gotta move. Now. Where's her gun? Oh, there it is. God, okay. Where did he go? Oh, God. We're in it now. We're in it now. 